Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We have just helped up the Jarl's children. We've helped his son, and we've helped his daughter, and we have been invited to a feast. Not in our honor, but we have been made honorary Skelligers. So, we're going to enjoy this feast, have a rousing good time, and I see a bunch of people punching each other over here in the corner. Maybe I can get in on this. Yelmar, can you... <laughs> Distracted him. Oh, seal shut. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. This is an interesting offer. I have no idea if your sword's any good or not, though. So I wouldn't normally wager on this kind of thing. But I'm always up for punching people. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf. Level 18, you got nothing. You got nothing. Nope, I don't think so. Down you go. Easy as pie. Ah, you had good. Hard. Better believe it. Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. <laughs> well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Thank you. Let me check the stats on that to make sure I didn't just waste my time. Oh, it's actually stronger than the sword I've got now. Only by 6%, but it also does more critical hit damage bonus. Alright, I'll take it. It's not amazing, but it's a decent sword. Thank you. Now that we've enjoyed the festivities a little bit, let's go report back to Croc. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Yes, well, tomato, tomato. Are you leaving? Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. I would, before you dampened the mood with your sour dourness. Yo, May Jarl. I... You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, cintrian plum brandy. A hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Do you have any mandrake cordials? Because I've got about 50 recipes for potions and decoctions that require... Uh, you probably don't have any. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you, for helping ensure the line endures. Whoa, a sword! Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Hear that? Damn it! I must probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Let's go see what that's all about. By the way, I took your sun sword, but if yours is better, I'm just gonna throw yours right in the fire. Oh! <laughs> God, no! I'll give you this. It's certainly a lot wilder than most balls I've attended. For Skelligers, because I'm a Skelliger now, we are Skelligers seeking glory! Oh, there's more than one bear. All right. I've already fought a couple of you with my bare fists. So taking down with swords ain't nothing. And a third bear over here. That's fine. Hey, how's it going? Ah, <laughs> I'm sure you can handle it by yourself. But let me just make it a little quicker for you. These bears are real party poopers, aren't they? So, how you doing, Saris? How's everyone doing? Models haven't loaded in yet. I 
I know, that really killed the party, didn't it? Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. I'll be on! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my da. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not step for this. Dad, come here. Come on. Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. I don't know why he's so mad. His baby's fine. Even after I threw it in the fire. So does anyone see uh, how those bears got... I was kind of distracted talking with the Jarl. Did anyone see who let the bears in? Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait. Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. That's true, the doors were locked from the inside. So you might have a traitor, Jarl. I'm gonna help Ceres. She's got it. She's actually got a fair point. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Good luck. Someone ruined a perfectly good party. I've barely taken part of the festivities. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Looks like we'll have to investigate, because... Do you have any more information? Again, I wasn't here. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them. I promise. Lugos may have been complicit. Is he among the dead? No, who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. I'm not entirely convinced that Lugos was innocent in here. He might have been complicit. He might have had a plan to distract everyone while the bears were let in, and then he wound up being a casualty. Let's not rule him out as a suspect just because he died. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Yes, I will look around. I'll be able to inquire, I hope, too. I want to know who bet Lugos he couldn't drink that. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Bang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. I would have guessed a bear. I wonder if there are any clues on the bear itself. How did they get the bears in here? Surely couldn't have led them by a leash. Bear's head, but the tongue's short. 
like a human's. Weird. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Got the tongue of a human, and it has a taste for something that's not entirely bear-like. Is that a cur- That might be a cursed human. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Someone tattooed it. Uh, that just kind of furthers my suspicion that it's probably a human. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Wouldn't do that on a wild animal. Would have done that on a person. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Well, this has gotten even more suspicious. A lycanthrope. A half-human, half-bear beast. That only comes out like a werewolf at night, except this time it was triggered by alcohol. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Yeah, so it's not quite berserkers. Although I do have a better idea. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. But don't drink it. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. I guess we'll go talk to your druid. And, ooh, ask Hjort to have a look at the mead sample. Yeah, we'll bring that mead sample to him. And see if he can't give us more information on this mystery. Freyr, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? I have no respect for your customs. Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom? I've never used that in any of my crafting recipes. Mardrom. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Sila Saib, I believe. All ah, right. yes. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. I suppose that's possible, yeah. Um, I'm really not understanding how a little bit of blood and a couple of mushrooms spiked in the alcohol would have turned people into bears. I... that is some kind of witchcraft I am unfamiliar with. Let's dig deeper and maybe we can find more clues. Come on, so much alcohol, and no mandrake cordials. How am I gonna be able to craft any of my recipes without mandrake cordials? This is ridiculous. You guys have everything except what I need. I keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, after I loot your wine cellar for anything important. You seriously don't have any mandrake cordials? Stench! Is that vodka? Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Daz got other worries in his mind. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. Well, it's a trap. Shit. The spirit! Yeah, yes. Your superstitious <laughs> no, mumbo jumbo. But they're too heavy. We'll never move them. No! Tendu. I'm going to blast them out of the way. Uh, hold on. Let me get my blasty blasty spell. 
Hold on, hold on. <coughs> hold on, hold on. Got it. Quick. There. Get out of here. Go, Saris, quickly. While I loot any important alcohols. We might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ah. Medallion's Bygone days. Place of power. It's gotta be. Hold up a bit. I've gotta draw some energy from this statue. I'll help you out in a moment. Alright, back to the investigation. You, you had this underneath your castle, you didn't even tell me? Could've used that earlier. Anything that boosts my skills is welcome. But let's continue the investigation. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I have no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. I don't see any tracks, Saris, but I do see a shattered bottle. <laughs> Someone walked through the mead. Probably left a scent behind. Or, nope, I can just follow the footprints. They stepped in the mead, follow the alcohol-soaked footprints. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Yes, all the alcohol has fallen off of their feet. Now I have to follow a different set. Oh, hello. Looks like they tore a bit of their clothing here. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Uh, sounds a little too convenient. Sounds like someone might be setting up Arnvald, but if, uh, we should at least catch him and interrogate him. Look, it's him! Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Looks like he's guilty after all. He's making a break for it. We'll get him, don't worry. I'm an Come expert on, horse racer, despite the fact that I avoid any and all horse races whenever I can. Arnvald! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him, Pathetic. Wow. That was it. One swing and he fell off his horse. <laughs> Why do you betray them? Talk or I'll finish what I started. No Oncrit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. Ah, so you were just the intermediary. You were working on behalf of Berna. Why? What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. Then we need to find proof of Berna's involvement. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I guess it's gonna have to be enough. I don't know if we'll be able to convict her. Is she actually... I don't know if... Well, she might actually be innocent. This might be a brilliant play by Arnvald. Although I sincerely I've doubt it. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Saris on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Burn our bronze. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. 
Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cerus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Ancreat, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served at Kaer Trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Can I vouch for what Cerus says or can we present the evidence? I guess it makes sense to vouch for the evidence. Does my word have any say in this? I don't know. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreat lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. I do have more kind of proof. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. This is unfortunate. We couldn't find any more evidence. I don't think we could have scrounged up anything better. Maybe if we had gone with the sun, we could have had better results, but I don't know how. He didn't seem to have any intention of trying to figure out who the culprit was. He was too busy going for blood. I'm sorry, Cyrus. Wait! Mother... You bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family! The clan! Svanrika, I did it for you! Only for you! You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Boy, that's harsh. I wouldn't be smarmy about that, Saris. This isn't a happy thing. Boy, Svenriga! I can't believe it. I didn't know much about him, but he seems to be a pretty honorable kind of guy. He might not make a bad king after all. When I had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svenriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I suppose I can do that. Yeah, sure. I'll join you. Might join you later. Counting on it. As are my children. Whoa! What a quest. What a feast. What a banquet. That was certainly not what I was expecting. Holy cow. Well, 
I can tell you who I definitely don't think should sit on the throne. The son. I don't think your son has enough patience to sit on the throne. Cerys would make a good queen. She's a good person. She's bright and smart. But I don't know. Svenriga. He's impressed me. He's actually thrown away everything for the truth. Might not be the best quality of a king, but he's definitely got the qualities of a good human being. By the way, your sword that you just gave me? It's garbage. I never actually took the moment to look at it, but it's pathetic. It's not even as good as the sword your son gave me, so I'm just going to hold on to uh, the other sword. Hjalmar's steel sword. Yeah, he had a good sword. It's my sword now. So I appreciate that, if nothing else. Quick now. All the yards have gathered. Carnage has begun already. Sarah's and Crete. Skellige's new queen. The gods will favor us. Thank you. Appreciate it. By the way, if you're wondering why my face looks all bruised and beat up, it's because I fought a bunch of insects along the way. Worth long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. Wow, they've already chosen without me. Huh. I wonder if I influenced this in any way by helping her out with her investigation. And by doing her quest. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Ceres. Still kind of disappointed about what happened to Sven Rouge there. Well, we have attended the coronation. Ceres is the new ruler. Yeah, it's time for us to make our way out of here. We'll say our goodbyes and then tend back to the main quest. Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What are you going to do now? What is your first act as queen going to be? What's the new queen of Skellige planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Lugos died during the bear attack. Have you already forgotten? Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Well, goodbye, Ceres. I'm gonna go talk to your brother. Uh, let's see if he's happy about his sister being coronated, or if he's got bitter remorse. You alright? So-so. Anywhere you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. I think you will still have a strong role to play in her new rule. I think you will be a very good advisor. She doesn't seem to be as impetuous as you. Maybe you can rub off on each other. Take care, Yalmar. Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me. What other y'all can boast children like mine? <laughs> After that bear attack? Not many. Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. It has been quite the day. It started with a banquet, and that banquet ended with a bang, and led into the person who I wanted to be on the throne, sitting on the throne. So everything worked out well in the end. Not really for everyone whose lives got lost here, everyone who lost family, and not so great for Sven, Sven Rug, whose mother is being pecked apart by sea fowl, and he himself has been exiled. But maybe I'll see him in my travels again. I am leaving Skellige. I have business to tend to elsewhere. I'm going to head back to Kaer Morin and see Triss and talk to Uma and follow up on the main quest. We're going to figure out what happened to Ciri next time. 
But before we do that, we're going to stop by the Nowhere Inn in Novigrad. Have a few things to take care of in Novigrad. Gonna meet Lambert at the Nowhere Inn and make sure his quest is resolved nice and quick. Depending on how long that takes us, we will immediately follow up by doing the main quest. It's It's been something I've been putting off for quite some time, but we are going to head back into the main quest very soon. Until then, my name is Mike and this has been The Witcher 3. Thank you for joining me.